I think he loves his special purpose, don't you, pal? So nice to have a purpose in life. It's steaming hot. Yeah, okay. I'll eat it. You want some? Sorry, it's not enough. I can't share. <laughs> I was dying. Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. So PSJ can go out and play and give Freddy his special purpose. <laughs> so yes, welcome back to Vintage Story. And we are about to give our friend Freddy the Dummy over there in the apiary his special purpose. He's been asking for it for a long time. He thought it was wabbit slaying, but he has decided that's not for him. At least according to the sign he left us right here. He says, I forfeit you in dead wabbits haunt to my dream. So it looks like we are at a tie. Oh, well, no, that, that we broke the tie. He forfeited, so I win. All right, so that's fantastic. So we're going to give him a special purpose today. And we're going to find out what that is as soon as we go collect the honey. That's on the to-do list, and you shall see what the special purpose is. Oh, the raccoon knows. Raccoon knows all about special purposes when it comes to bees. <laughs> He's laughing his furry little butt off. What is going on down here? Oh, chickens. We've got a chicken and a couple of chickadees in there. Oh, isn't, aren't they adorable? All right, well, we'll go fetch them later. Let's go give Freddy his special purpose. <laughs> Now, I did see that crazy goat lady around here, so keep your eyes peeled. She can't get in here, though. I actually made a change around the uh, the walls here, because she could climb up the walls and get in, but I don't think she can climb up the fences, so I had to take the walls out and secured it a little bit better now. All right. Anyway, Freddy, today's the day, my friend. What is my special purpose? Oh, you're going to find out. You're going to love your special purpose. So check this out. Our skep here has uh, honey in it. You can see by the little door. It's now a little golden yellow color. That's the honey. It's overflowing with honey. This one is not quite ready yet. And neither is this one. But this one apparently is harvestable now. And it even says it up at the top. They are harvestable. Blah, 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 blah. So, Freddy, for your special purpose, are you ready? On three, two, one. Break that scap. Oh, oh, Freddy. Your special purpose, buddy! Yay! <laughs> I think he loves his special purpose, don't you, pal? Oh, so nice to have a purpose in life. Okay, well, I guess hunting wabbits is not your thing, but um, getting stung by bees is, so there you go. And that's, uh, that's a special purpose. It keeps the bees off me, and uh, now we can just take the honeycomb <laughs> and run away. And uh, little Freddy there is going to take care of the bees. That's so great. Oh, he's still, they're still going. <laughs> you wanted a special purpose and now you got one. <laughs> that's fantastic. So that's what you got to do. You got to put a dummy next to the skep before you break it because the bees might get angry. And, uh, well, they obviously will sting you if you don't have a dummy. We have a dummy, fortunately. All right, so what do we get? We got three honeycomb. We can squeeze this out over a bucket or a bowl to get honey and wax. And we also got a few of the cattails back. Right, let's just put the cattails back for now. We'll make another skip in a minute. Um, all right, let's put the bucket down right there. Empty bucket, as you can see here, wooden. Uh, we have our honeycomb. We would just point at it and squeeze that honeycomb. Oh, it's filling up. Check it out. 0.25 liters of honey per squeeze. Whoa, what happened? Put it back down. Yeah, there it is. 0.75 liters of honey in there. We got three beeswax out of that deal too. Fantastic. So we can make a new, we can make a new lantern. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Let's make a, whoops, I need three for a, uh, for a candle, just like that. And now we can grab our metal. We've got one bismuth plate. I've been waiting to do this for so long. To make our um, a new lantern with the bismuth. I forget how to do this. Hold on. Bismuth lantern right here. We need quartz, clear quartz, or plain glass. Do we have any clear quartz? We have quartz chunks. So we have oh we have three clear quartz. Let's just use that because it's available. Whoops, we just need two, right? Alright, let's do it. Clear quartz on the sides, candle here, and a bismuth plate underneath. And look at that, guys. It's gorgeous! Same light level, but it's a rainbow color. <laughs> it looks amazing. Oh, I love it. Check it out. Oh, that's great. All right. Well, let's go put our copper lantern somewhere. How about on the second floor? All the torches up here go out and have to be changed. We can just 
Put it right there? Yeah, look at that. In the winder. Can we still see out? Yes, we can. And we'll be able to see that from far, far away. It'll look like a, uh, it'll be like a, a lighthouse from a distance. From a distance. All right. Anyway, no singing. Let's, um, let's do something with our wooden bucket of honey. And I think what we're going to do, since we're getting hungry here, oh, we got some stuff. We got a pot of cooked food, four servings. Well, we got to get that out of there right now. Let's put that in a crock pot thingy. Scoop it right up. And we'll grab some animal fat. We'll store it away down in the basement. Put that there. And the fat. Um, yeah. Red meat, stew with boiled turnip and cranberries. That's just going to go down in the basement. But what we want to do is make up a new... Um, we want to make up a new dish. We want to make a porridge with um, with our new honey. And we can make jams, too. Is this Freddy's Famous? Oh, I think this is Freddy's Famous. Let's put it right here. Pretty sure that's the famous stuff. All right. Let's go back up and let's make our jam. This is so exciting. I can't wait to cook with honey. So let's, uh, let's see what we got here. That's the clay pot. Let's put it over here. Get it ready. We're going to make two dishes. Um, we're going to need some more peat, I think, on that fire pit. All right, let's grab all the ingredients. We're going to want some... Let's make a rye. I'm going to save my rye for bread. Let's make a spelt uh, porridge. And we're going to want some, I think, blueberries and cranberries for this. So let's grab some of our cranberries. Let's go plick, plick. <laughs> I was trying to decide on pick or pluck, and it came out as plick. So let's go plick some blueberries. Hi, ma'am. How you doing? Oh, don't go down there. She's too big anyway. Yeah, where's your kids at? You lost them again? Holy smokes. I'm going to call DCYF on you. All right, let's grab some blueberries. Don't eat them now. I want an empty belly so that we can eat up our, um, our porridge and maybe our jam, too. We don't have very much honey. Unfortunately, just a couple of dollops, but it's gonna have to do. All right, let's get back in that house. I'm getting soaked out here. How's Freddy doing? Special purpose is now over, at least until the next time we collect honey. <laughs> I don't think the bees attack every single time. I think there's a, a chance of that happening. All right, so to make a jam, what we need to do is put two fruits and two honeys. So we're not gonna get much jam. I prefer to make you know, a full pot, but unfortunately we just don't have enough honey for that. So let's just experiment and we'll do two fruits. I'm going to make a blueberry jam. Unfortunately, we don't have any strawberries. I prefer strawberry jam, but I don't think there's strawberries in the game. And cranberry jam just sounds weird, um, doesn't it? All right, let's put in our two honey. I think you just dip it in. Yeah, oh yeah, you left click, you dip it in. And that is apparently nothing. Two fruit. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Pick that back up again. I think we have to do it like this. Hold on. Let's pick this up and scoop that back up again. We have to do... Um, we got to spread these out. And then you do boom, boom, boom. Okay, yep, there you go. So the two blueberries and then the two honeys. And this is going to create one serving of blueberry jam once we spark it up with the torch. Let's do it. Now, obviously, you want to make more, um, and you can increase the portions by stacking up more here. We just don't have enough. So that's just going to have to do for now. Now, let's make the porridge. Hey, you be quiet over there. Smells the honey. Little raccoons always steal honey. Um, let's go ahead, and over here, we're going to do two grains. Oops. Again, we're just going to have only one portion, unfortunately. So it's two grains like that. That's one serving of spelt porridge which sounds horrible, but we're going to spruce it up with maybe some cranberries. Let's put some cranberries in there, mash cranberries on top, and a bit of honey in here to sweeten it. Mmm, look at that. <laughs> Create one serving of honey topped spelt porridge with mashed cranberries. Sounds glorious. Spark it up and hustle it up because I'm getting hungry. And I think that's all of the honey. It's now empty. What a shame. All right. Ooh, that porridge is going to be so good. Oh, the, uh, the the jam is done. Pot of cooked food. One serving of blueberry jam. 400 saturation of, of, um, of fruits. Where's all of our bowls? Do we have any bowls? Ow. Oh, 
Oh, crazy lady. No, I'm hungry. All right, eat that jam. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the crazy goat lady was in here. It's actually hunger pains. Look at that. It's steaming hot. Yeah, okay. I'll eat it. You want some? Sorry. It's not enough. I can't share. <laughs> I was dying. Yeah, but you can have the bowl. You can lick the bowl clean if you like. How are we doing for fruits? Oh, we're full up on fruits. Yeah, that was super sugary. <laughs> I feel like dancing or something. Woohoo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Is that, is that dancing? I'm not sure that's dancing. It's something, but it may not be dancing. All right, pick up that bowl, and let's um, let's put that bowl right there and see if our other thingy here is done. We need a free hand. Oh, it's done. Oh, I just scooped it up. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Okay, wait a second. Pick that empty bowl up. Get out of here and put this down. Put it down. Oh my gosh, look at that. One serving of honey top spelt porridge with mashed cranberries on top, and it's steaming hot. <laughs> and it smells delectable. Should we eat it? I mean, I'm hungry. Yeah, let's eat it while it's hot. Once again, I shall share, well, the bowl. Oh, guys, you have no idea how amazing that was. Here, try it. <laughs> it didn't even fill us up. It was only one, one little serving. That's too bad. Okay, well, um, that's it. That was all the honey we had, unfortunately. We're going to need to make a lot more, or collect a lot more honey, which means we're going to need another, another skep, which is reeds and clay, if I recall correctly. Let's check out that recipe just to be sure. Empty skep, yes. Now, I'm wondering, maybe we shouldn't put it out yet. Maybe we should wait for these, um... The bees to swarm and fill up the other uh, I mean and make make more honey over here first because I'm afraid if we affect the population size now it might take longer to make the honey see this they're still not ready yet and by the way I, apparently I have to lift this up off the um, off the ground get the skeps up a little higher because raccoons apparently are born from trees they pop right out of stumps and trees <laughs> and if a raccoon is born inside our apiary um then he's gonna eat our honey right we don't want that so let's let's go grab an axe and let's put some fence out do we have any fence in here yeah we got a little bit of oak fence let's grab an axe this guy right here looks good oh he's brand new let's grab one that's not brand new do we have a used axe around here somewhere uh how about this guy right here yep slightly used axe that's better and yeah, we'll go put um We'll put the skeps up a little higher. I'm going to raise this one up. Right next to our buddy Fred and his special purpose. Right there. Oh, I killed a flower. Dang it. Let's put that lupine back. Bloop. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful flower. Um, I wonder if that grass will grow. Oh, let's wait for the grass to grow. Yeah, let's wait for that grass to grow. We don't need to put the skep out right now. It's not really a priority. Don't worry, buddy. You'll have uh, you'll have some jobs to do very, very soon. When those other two skeps pop, and the honeycomb is ready to be collected, I don't know when that's gonna be. But I guess for now, we'll just head inside. What time is it? Oh man, it's late. Well, early. 1:30 in the morning, and we're getting a ton of rainfall right now in August. It says right here we have very common rainfall in this area, but it hasn't rained at all until now. Um, so maybe that's a seasonal thing. Oh gosh, we're wasting all this peat. Take the peat out of there. Take this out of here as well. We're done cooking for the time being, I think. And I'm going to just go ahead and get organized and put some stuff away. And well, let's make that skep at the very least. We can make it. But I don't think we want to put it out just yet. Oh, that's spelt grain. I'm trying to put spelt in there. That's not going to work. <laughs> Scap, there we go. Yay, empty scap. Okay. Um, but like I said, we're not going to do anything with this scap right now. I want to wait for that grass to grow. What we could, what we can do right now is while it's dark, um, let's run over to the chickenses and check on them. Because I think they're having babies. At least it said, last time I pointed at them, it said they were ready to have babies. So let's go check on them. We're going to bring some grain. Not my spelt grain, because I want the spelt grain for cooking but we'll bring some of the um some of the flax grain it's not very healthy or tasty so i'd rather not use it for food purposes but i don't mind feeding the chickens with it 
And it looks like all of our veggies here are up too, including our cabbage. Ooh, them some big, healthy-looking cabbages, let me tell you. Don't get any ideas, you. All right, uh, I'm going to check these one more time. I love cooking with honey, but I want to make full serving sizes. Having a nice nap here? Great. Glad to hear it. She doesn't talk much. Hello, chickens. How we doing in there? I got some food for you. Everybody relax. Look at this. Two empty troughs. I put a new trough in here, by the way. Um, and they are eating like horses. You guys eat a ton. Let's fill it up. And let's... Oh, no, I don't want to eat that. Don't eat that. Flax is for the chickens. Oh, what is this? We got eggs on the outside. You guys throwing your eggs out? Well, there's eggs inside, too. All right. They are laying the eggs. Now, here's the thing. Just like the age-old question, did the chicken or the egg come first? <laughs> well, in vintage story, eggs do not hatch into chickens or chicks. They, uh, they're they just for eating. So we're going to go ahead and collect those two eggs out here. There must be some wild chickens running around trying to get in because that's where all the fun is going on right inside here, right? It's like a party. Um, now, can I get those eggs right there? Yeah, so apparently um, eggs do not hatch into chickens. These chickens are going to give birth to live baby chicks. So we can take the eggs and use them in cooking, and they don't last very long, so you do have to grab them. Now, how the heck am I going to get those? I didn't bring my axe. I don't have another gate. I'm going to have to uh, just reach in, I guess, and snatch them. Hopefully I can punch them from here. Uh, do I have any dirt? Yeah, stand up here and try to do this. Okay, squat down and punch them, and then collect them through the fence. Oh, gosh, don't eat that, you cannibals. <laughs> um, I guess maybe I can... Can I squeeze in here? Ugh, give me that egg. Can't quite reach. No, get back in there. Ow! Hey, you little... He just pecked me. He's protecting his lady friends. That's fine. That's his job. He's supposed to do that. Did I get the egg? I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to fix this and work on that. Make it easy to grab the eggs that they lay in there. Um, I'll think of something. Yeah, I hear chickens running around outside here, outside the pen. And it looks like there might even be another rooster in here. I think I let one in. I don't remember doing that. But we now have two roosters in here. I don't know if we need to. If that's too many. You know what they say, right? Three's a crowd. <laughs> um, so this one, this hen here, it says ready to mate. Saturation 5. They have to reach a certain saturation point to be ready to mate. So they're ready to go. And I think I'll leave now because they seem very agitated with me here. But yeah, so sooner or later we're going to get chicks, I guess. Oh, oh, fight. Fight. Cock fight. What's going on in there, you guys? Stop it. Ow. Hey. Right through the fence. Ooh, this guy, this guy's getting rambunctious. <laughs> getting aggressive in there. Toxic masculinity. <laughs> Chill. All right. Anyway, I think we're done with the chickens. I might have to take that other rooster out. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 I hear a drifter. Let's go kill a drifter because I need one more temporal gear and then we can go fix that translocator because we have, um, I've got two temporal gears and we got the metal bit that we got from the locust hive or the nest rather in the last episode. And I'd love to go fix up a translocator and see where it takes us. Okay, let's check on the bees one last time. Whoa, crazy lady. She's not as aggressive when her kids aren't around. No, you cannot come in here. It's an apiary. It's for apes, not goats. Okay, nothing there yet. And nothing there yet either. Well, I'm going to go ahead and make this skep, even though that grass hasn't grown. Yeah, I don't know if grass grows... Um, when there's blocks on top of it. But I'm just going to do this anyway. We'll do this for science. All right, buddy. I'm going to plop this skip up here. Can I do it? Yes, I can. It's a little higher than I'd like, but this will keep the, um, the raccoons away in case any raccoons pop out of these logs, at least for now. I can bring it back down later, but we're going to have to just do it like this for the time being. It's too bad because I really like the natural log look. But I didn't realize raccoons popped out of trees. Uh, I guess that's the other age-old question which came first. The tree or the raccoon? I don't know. What do I know? I know nothing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get back inside here and probably call it a day. Just going to get cleaned up. This place is a disaster. 
And what can we do with these chicken eggs? We can use them in cooking. They don't last very long, so maybe we'll make a dish with eggs. I'll have to look up a dish with eggs because I'm not really sure what we can do with that. Ooh, got some bread here, and that's nice. Fresh bread. I might as well have a bit right now. Although, what do we need? We need veggies. Holy cow. All right, let's, um, should we go eat a cabbage? Let's go pluck some cabbage. Just a raw cabbage? Sure, why not? Okay, one seed from that one. That's too bad. Okay, we're going to put these up here because they require the N nutrient. And we have full N up here at 80%. That should do. And look at those cabbages. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to eat them raw. Mm-hmm. Check our veg vegetation. 696. And another one. 816. Wow. That was pretty good. <laughs> Getting my vegetables, Mom. Eating my greens. You just don't want to be around me for a little while, if you know what I mean. <laughs> all right. I'm going to grab all the onions and all that stuff, too. But I think uh, I'll do all my farming in a bit. So I think we're going to call it quits here for the time being, my friends. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we shall see you next time. So have a good day. Bye-bye.